Hi, I am Jerry and uh, today I want to show you how to design a continuous beam with cantilever using idea statica. Alright, so I open this, then I go to the beam. Alright, then after that, I uh, have to start new. So this uh, example, I will show you uh, the tree span considered a continuous beam with cantilevers. Alright, so uh, for this, for this, uh, for this case, I have to choose in situ when it was concrete beam. Then it is a continuous beam. Then I have to uh, click next. All right. So uh, my span actually is this is a cantilever. This is the span length, six point five, seven, six point five, and another cantilever is one point three. Then I have to click next. The next things I have to put in if uh, what is the design code I'm using. So I'm in Singapore. I'm using uh, this Euro code. Then the design working lifespan I need to put in 50 years. Then this is part of like a public bridge, and then this is uh, uh, 1992 in uh, your code, and then uh, I have to assign what will be the dead load and then the live load as well. Then I have to click finish. So once I have uh, go to this uh, uh, view, then I need to go to this. All these things actually you have to input so that you can get all your results when you're doing your design. All right. So I go to the project data. So this project data actually you have to put in uh, like uh, what is your name? So my name is Jerry. Then uh, this will be is considered number one. Then uh, we say that this one uh, the author is Kiko. Then the description is uh, is the design of uh, beam. All right, and that's it. Then after this, I need to go to cross section. What cross section do I need to use? All right. So for this case, I need to choose rectangular section. All right, this is the rectangular section with the uh, height I assign of 800. Then the base, the B uh, is uh, 400. Then the concrete uh, grade based on your code, uh, based on cylinder is grade 40 and cube strength is 50. All right, then I click OK. OK, then after that, what material are we going to use? Then I click this. What material do I need to use? Uh, all right, so uh, you have to assign this one is ODE uh, is uh, 40 for cylinder strength and all this value is here. All right, then I need to go to members. Okay, the members actually uh, have assigned for this, but later on I need to remove this because it's a cantilever. So uh, this will be the it's a rectangle. It's a, it's a rectangle is 800, 400. So this is the cantilever. Later on, I need to remove this support. Then this is the 6.5, 7 meter, 6.5, and 1.3. All right. So from there, I have support. Then I have to remove this. All right. Then I have to remove this. And then all these things is all the pin support. So this one is cantilever. This one is pin support. All right. Then I go to load cases. Since the load cases I already put in, we have the 18, uh, then we have the 7.5. So the one I need to skip, all these things is already here. But if you want to check, you can check from me. You can check from me, actually, is, this is your loadings. Where is your, uh, this is your dead load. And then after that, this is your live load. 18 and the 17. Then uh, I don't have a line loads, I don't have the settlement, 
the user SD file processing combination. Then after that, this is the this is the load combinations that I'm going to calculate on this. So the load combination based on your code. Then after that, I need to do the calculate. So for this calculate, once you have calculated the section, then you have to go, you have to check the reaction. What is the reaction? All right. So this reaction is here. The so for this support, this is 1.6.4 kilonewton, and uh, this is also 163.4. Then you can see your deformation. What will be the deformation means is the deflection. So for this case, you have this uh, minus 8 mm, minus 0.6 mm, is pointed based on our section that we put in. All right. Then uh, this is all the internal force has. So uh, this is the moment, all right. So in this in this area, based on ULS, this is the value. This is the value. This is the maximum support or a maximum moment. Sorry. Okay. Then after that, I go. I need to go to data. So once I have the data, check one more time. All right. So all is this one. Uh, uh, this is the exposure means a concrete cover or is the requirement this is all the I assign then I go to reinforcement this reinforcement you need to assign in every section so if it is A you have to assign this section so that then after that you can calculate all these things together with this main reinforcement and the shield so for this case I have to assign this AA what would be the reinforcement I need to put in all right so uh, for this case I need to click this and then uh, this one is five numbers on top okay uh, what is the size this one the below one what is the size this one is the each means it's on the side so I put in four numbers uh, then uh, after that what is the uh, strength size and the cover and then the spacing this is the spacing all right so I click OK when I send this then I click OK and after that I also click OK all right then this is now the reinforcement over here. Then next, I need to go to section B. It's the same thing, I need to follow whatever I assign. I also put in this one. Then all these things is the same. Then assign OK. All right, so this is the one. So I go to the same thing. I need to same procedure. Then I put in 4. And then I click OK. And then OK. And then after that, I next. The same procedure that I need to put in next okay all right then after that go to CC go to CC then after that is the same value all right see then the same thing uh, okay once I already assigned uh, the reinforcement and uh, links is a startup then after that I need to check the deflection all right need to check the deflection based on this all right then uh, all right so I go to this uh, calculation then they come out with this uh, all right they come out with this uh, yeah. this is a redistribution and reduction all right so this is all the values that we have to take care of and after that we have to check the lateral stability for this case we are using uh, base is 0.4 and then the height is uh, 0.8 all right then check this lateral stability is all the uh, it's all right it's acceptable then we go to the results whether our design is okay or not okay and then we will check everything This is the new design program that you need to know. 
they this uh, software actually is uh, designed for uh, euro code based on euro code all right oh okay so the moment the capacity moment capacity is in all is in the limit you have the share interaction system is a crack read then the deflection then the lateral stability then how we're going to how we're going to do our report okay so the first thing there's two type of report is a standard and it's a detail actually if it is for me if i do my reporting i use the detail one all right detail is a complete uh, uh, design calculation report and if you can see from the uh, this is all this one all right all the details is here and uh, and all is in order and all the results is acceptable this is here uh, results this is the moment results and then this is the deflections right then this is the uh, reactions then the concrete design based on this this is this will be the result and check everything then it's in order so you can use this uh, or you can use this uh, consider the, the size of the beams and the rebars you're doing actual construction this is all the load combinations and it is all acceptable all right then uh, is all uh, this compliance all right uh, then uh, for this case when I do my report I have to uh, transfer it to the document all right and I have to save it and then uh, see how it looks like enjoy my reporting so uh, uh, this is the table of contents then this is the project data this is the projection that I'm going to design then I have the assigned the materials the geometry the members and then the nodes then the load case has I put in and uh, we have this what is our loadings and uh, this this will be the loadings all right lipom loads then uh, this one is all based on the load combinations all right and uh, this is the envelopes all right and this is all the results and we put in uh, this is the all load combinations is the deflections displacement these are deflections and it will be the concrete design based on uh, national annex uh, based on euro code you will check everything is all complied or in within the tolerance or acceptable So, uh, that's all for today. If you have some questions, then you can email me at kikoaguelo at gmail.com.